Hey everyone, here I am in Dublin. Oops, sorry, a little dark there. All right, so I'm here in Dublin. Sorry I haven't posted in a little while. I've been actually in London and kind of uh, experimenting with short Instagram videos that you can see if you click on the link in my description to my Instagram profile. But here's one that I made when I just saw the Rolling Stones last night. <laughs> Those, those guys can still rock and it's they're 70 years old, it's amazing. I've never seen a 70 year old man like Mick Jagger running all over the stage still, so it's incredible. If you still get a chance to see them for however long they're still on tour, definitely go do it. Anyways, uh, Dublin's been on the bucket list since I've been here in Europe and since I was over in the UK and got a long weekend, thought I'd hop over, so let's, uh, let's go see what I can see today. So, like uh, most Americans, I'm a mix of all different heritages. On my mom's side, I got Polish, Lithuanian. On my dad's side, I got Native American, 116th. That was very helpful for college entrance uh, exams. But also a big part of me is uh, actually here from Ireland. And our original ancestor that my dad traced is from, gotta remember, look left when crossing the streets, or is it right? Oh well. And uh, the ri original ancestor was actually named Brian O'Bannon and he is from Tipperary County. And my name is Brian O'Bannon. It's not Brian O'Bannon, not Brian O'Banion. Growing up in San Antonio, a lot of Spanish speakers would like to put an NA on the two ends, but Brian O'Bannon. So happy to finally be in a place where pe people will be able to pronounce my name right. Right now, walk in to see the Book of Kells, which is a famous Latin text here that's still preserved. So, really excited. Took Latin in high school, so that'll be really fun to see. So great inside the Trinity University Long Room Library. The nerd in me can't help but think of the Jedi Library on Coruscant. It was incredible seeing the Book of Kells and all the other hundreds of year old books, but it's past noon here and I think I finally wait enough to get to why I'm really here. So fanta fantastic little tour there and a very entertaining, a lot of history of Irish whiskey. I didn't even know it was as popular as it is, but there's some bad news came out here. It is pouring outside and I do not have a good case for this camera. Looks like I got an Uber to the Guinness factory. Everybody I've met in Dublin so far has said that the Guinness Factory is the Disneyland of Ireland, and oh my god, it's so true. Behind me at the top of the Guinness Storehouse. Come on, I leave. 